Laura, we've learned that at least four students have taken their own lives here at the district. Tomorrow at the both high schools, students and parents will be able to receive a suicide prevention seminar, but some parents and students tell us more needs to be done. Sometimes foster parents and adults. Junior Casey Oglesby knows too well what it means to lose a friend to suicide. She's lost two in Blue Spring schools and doesn't feel the district is doing enough. They kind of brush it aside and it kind of leaves everyone that was close to that situation wondering like why they're doing that because that's basically saying like we don't want anything to do with this. KNBC 9 News has learned of at least four deaths at the district in the last year. Parents and students tell us the number in the last three years is far higher. I've heard of at least 12 suicides. Oglesby says bullying is a major contributing factor. Since February, we've worked to get basic answers of how many students have taken their lives. Hi, Katie, this is Brian Johnson from Channel 9 KNBC. First on the phone, then through email. The district denied our request, saying the law for open records does, quote, not apply to deceased students. It's very alarming to me as well. Barbara Nelson founded the local chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention after losing two sons to suicide. They really need to be reaching out and talking about it because... It's happening. It's happening. And you can't keep suicide a secret. You need to talk about it in order to prevent it. She says after a recent death, her prevention team offered to help Blue Spring schools, but didn't hear back. In an email, a spokesperson says the district is proactive in our efforts to support the whole student. We educate students academically, physically, and emotionally. This includes services, programs, and staff to identify students at risk and provide early intervention when necessary. Parents say while the district does a good job identifying textbook bullying, they don't do a good job processing the hurt feelings of students. Michael Oglesby is a former teacher. Look more at the facts of the situation and not the feelings of the situation. And both are important, but the feelings are what ends up in a suicide. It just seems to be escalating a lot, and it still feels like people aren't doing as much as they can to help. And tomorrow night, a mental health advocate, a man who survived jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge, will be here talking to students at Blue Springs South, Blue Springs, as well as the Freshman Center. Tomorrow night, right here at the Performing Arts Center, he will provide a suicide prevention seminar for parents as well, 6 p.m. Reporting live in Blue Springs, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.